Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another quick take here, let's talk. There's this book called uh, Zero to One, um, by Mendikwa na Peter Thiel. Zilikuwa ni notes ambazo yakuwa nazitoa kwenye lecture yake, and uh, later his notes zikuja kwa compiled into a book, alafu ndio zikaja kutolewa. Now, from Zero to One inongelia concepts nyingi sana kwenye entrepreneurship, kwenye biashara, kwenye ujasili ya mali, na vitu kama hivyo. Concept ambazo nataka kuyongelia leo, it's very specific. Iyo idea ya zero to one. Iyo concept ya zero to one anongelea kusu growth. And basically anongelea kumba kuna two main types of growth. One is based off of um, innovating new ideas that never existed before. Ambayo ndi anasema unamove kutoko nye zero, wenda kwenye moja. Alafu, the other type, iyo type number two, ni kwamba you move from a place ambayo tayari ideas imekuwa generated alafu wewe una build on top of them to readapt them into different scenarios kwa hiyo unachukua idea ambayo tayari imeshakuwa implemented same flani alafu unaifanyia una, una, una maboresho alafu unaenda unaiweka kwenye sehemu ambayo bado haijawa implemented hii idea and that part ni from one to n kwenye hichi kitabu ana insist sana kuhusu kwamba how you should be able to move from zero to one lakini pia ana mention how um, it's convenient zaidi ku move from one kwenda n lakini overall uh, the idea is around um, why these two concepts are important and especially kwamba as an entrepreneur inabidi uelewe uh, the differences between these two points so as an entrepreneur if if you fail to understand kama like whether or not una move kutoka kwenye zero kwenda kwenye one au una move kutoka kwenye one kwenda kwenye n execution yako inaweza ikawa 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 misled just a little bit okay so the terminologies ambazo wakana zitumia kwenye easy aina mbili za growth ni pale ambapo una move kutoka kwenye zero kwenda kwenye one ambayo ali term kama technology so technology is the application of science you come up with a new idea impl implementation ya kitu fulani kwa upya wake alafu una ki implement and you get results that's uh, technology in action so uh, things like invention ya yes, computers au the invention of flight au things like applications and new ways of farming kwenye agriculture those are considered to be huge technological advancements in, at their time um, and then the other terminology ambayo naitumia ni when you're moving from one kwenda uko infinity ambayo aliita globalization and what that basically means ni kwamba you take a concept ambayo ina work in one place so you find kwamba kilimo cha inafanya kilifanikiwa labda India alafu unakichukua unachukua hiyo idea unakuja una, unakuja una implement Tanzania au labda um, viwanda vya aina fulani vilifanikiwa labda Shenzhen China unachukua hiyo idea alafu unakuja una implement Tanzania things like that that's called globalization where you globalize an area you take it from uh, a place ambayo ilikuepo ina inatumia by inferior technology una inatumia ina um, um, non scientific methods alafu una i modernize alafu tena una unaifanyia maboresho ili iwe more effective na iwe more efficient that's globalization so what has been seen ni kwamba watu wanachukua ideas ambazo ziko ziko implemented solely kwenye tech alafu wanazi reapply kwenye globalization and then what you get is this curve ambayo when you have technology on the y axis and you have globalization on the x axis inakuwa kama linear graph ambayo inakuwa ni kama y equals to mx plus c ambayo inapita katikati from zero so kwenye 0.0 kule unakuwa ni kwamba you have zero technology and you have zero globalization lakini the safe path to travel ni kwamba as you innovate you globalize kwa hiyo ambapo unaongeza teknolojia then you globalize those ideas it is spread around different areas that's the the in in, in a way the internet ilivyokuwa formed so unaanza with one place you network a bunch of computers alafu tena una globalize as in you move to other places unatumia fiber unatumia all these different technologies kufikia other people the challenge of the book ilikuwa ni kwamba um, most people uh, by default wanakimbilia kwenye 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 globalization and a fair example is when uh, kuna kuna duka so so you tunaziona hizi sana kwenye mitaa zetu unakuwa na duka kwenye one side of the road alafu you go away you come back in 2 years afu unakuta there's an exact copy la hilo duka on the other side of the road ambalo linauza the same exact thing just across the road alafu kienda kuuliza mfano muzaduka so why are you selling the same things ambazo anauza ile kule nakwambia market share inaenda kwa kujuana kwamba because i know a person 
person X yeye yeah, atakuja kwangu na hataenda kule kwake. Kwa hiyo market share inakuwa sio based on innovation lakini inakuwa based on easy social norms and new which is like it's okay like any there's a better way to handle it according to the book. So the emphasis ya hicho kitabu cha from 0 to 1 ni kwamba as an entrepreneur try to move towards going from 0 to 1 and that is very challenging kwa sababu one you have to understand the way markets work the reason it's easy to move kutoka kwenye moja kwenda kwenye infinity ni kwa sababu um, you have a fairly better understanding of how a market is kwa hiyo unaelewa kwamba hii ni aina gani ya, ya soko is it a new market laba kama ni soko jipya au is it an existing market ambayo ni soko ambayo tayari lipo and then wao wanaenda ku feed to hiyo demand yao au ni ile uh, segmented market ambayo ni kwamba you have a market ambayo tayari na exist and then you find something new ambacho hawana kwenye hiyo market ambayo na exist and then you segment them out alafu you get your own uh, new segmented market uh, to understand that inahitaji uwe na basics za za uchumi that's why uh, it's easier to move from one to end kwa sababu um, what walio kutangulia tayari walishafanya these um, walisha walisha fanya hizi tathmini na wamejua kwamba hii market either na exist how it's new how it's segmented kwa hiyo execution inakuwa fairly easy that's why it's easier to just open a, um, open duka across the road uh, kuliko ku figure out namna ya ku access in new market ambayo laba it never even existed so obviously the biggest challenge ya kutoka kwenye zero kwenda kwenye moja ni kwamba one you have to justify a market that you're not sure exists kwa hiyo hapo ndio entrepreneurs inabidi mnafikiria sasa you sit down and you think out does this market exist and can i justify my product or and or services to this market na kama ina exist kweli then inabidi una, una, una come up with a very inno, innovative way ambayo iko tofauti na wenzako na differentiate alafu tena unaingia kwenye market it's very it's very tricky lakini the challenge of the book ilikuwa ni and that's my challenge to you actually that's a challenge ambayo i personally am still going through ni kwamba Uh, can you go back to the market I'll have to figure out a way and boy can move from zero something that doesn't exist completely and then bring it to one now when they say it doesn't exist it doesn't mean kwamba hypo kabisa lakini it could mean uh, the the reason tunaweza tukasima tunaweza tuka stand tall is because tuna stand on the shoulders of the giants ambao walikuja before us now uh, um, moving from zero to one could mean that you are basing your hypothesis on top of ile idea ambayo tayari ilikuepo lakini labda una execute very very differently and very special for your own um, market uh, after moving from one to end ni, ni kuichukua sasa hiyo idea your prototype as per the e myth kwamba unaichukua your prototype as a model after you, you replicate it in different places in different scenarios etc 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 So that's my challenge to you. Um, go read the book, uh, comment down below and links is the Kwapochini. Uh, you let me know what you think of, of of this quick take. Until next time. Peace.